Yeah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor Obasi. Today, I'm going to be talking about um, contact lenses and um, glasses uh, as options. Patients, uh, most times when they come in, and especially first time patients, uh, when I issue them prescription, a lot of them will opt for contact lenses instead of glasses, and that's um, usually for cosmetic reasons. So I said I was not put this video out to uh, probably look at the pros and cons of uh, either choice. Uh, for me personally, I always like to play on the safe side, and that's why my first choice is usually glasses. Um, with glasses, the chances of infection is very slim. Uh, chances of you falling asleep with the glasses on is slim. Uh, chances of you developing red eyes with glasses is very slim. So there are so many uh, safety factors that uh, favors uh, glasses. For me, that's my first line of choice. Um, there are also cases where contact lenses uh, is preferred. In uh, cases like uh, something like catoconus, uh, where contact lenses, of course, will give you better vision than with um, glasses. Or in cases where the prescription is very high. And um, in that case, uh, most people don't, people don't want to be walking around with a uh, Coke bottle um, glasses anymore. So contact lenses um, will probably be a better choice in that uh, regard. But there are drawbacks to contact lenses. Uh, it's easy to get uh, infected because the contact lens is directly on your eyes. In glasses, you don't have to wash your hand all the time to put them on or take them off. Contact lenses, you have to always wash your hand before you put the contact lenses in and before you take them out. So there's uh, that inconvenience um, factor. Or else the contact lenses can, uh, contact lens wearer can easily infect um, their eyes. There are times when patients bring their kids in the silk. My child is um, uh, actively involved in sports. So they don't want the child to wear uh, glasses. They want the child to wear contact lenses. True, contact lenses will be a better choice than um, glasses. But if you also look at it, uh, you have the option of um, uh, sport goggles. Sport goggles uh, won't just give your child the best vision. It will be uh, comparable to what you have in glasses. But um, it also acts as a safety factor. Uh, if the child is involved in uh, maybe like uh, uh, combat sport and uh, he or she is wearing contact lenses, if uh, any impact, the eye has to absorb that impact. But if the child is wearing uh, sport goggles, uh, most of those sport goggles are made from, um, the lens are made from polycarbonate, so they don't easily uh, break. So that, uh, that's an extra uh, protection barrier for the child or for the athlete, if, uh, even if he's an, if he's an adult compared to just uh, contact um, lenses. Also, if your child is, um, in, uh, is, is involved in sports, uh, maybe in the, in the middle, the contact lens can pop out of the eye. It becomes a problem. But sports uh, goggles, sport goggles wouldn't be falling off the eye. Even if it does, you just pick it up and uh, put it back on, you, you're good to go. So these are areas where I think um, one should also look at it uh, from. Then a lot of times patients uh, are more concerned with cosmetic um, uh, aspect. So that's the main reason they don't want to wear glasses. But again, uh, as a professional, I look at uh, practicality before I look at cosmetic. Although I know both um, uh, factors are important, but for me, practicality always, uh, uh, is always a preference or number one before I look at uh, cosmetics. Now, uh, we also have situations where people that are over 40, first time glasses wearers, they don't want to go into, uh, they don't want to wear glasses. So instead of going maybe like to progressive or just reading glasses, they also want to wear contact lenses to read. It's very tricky. Contact lenses is not meant for uh, reading alone. You can have glasses just for reading. Anytime you, you're not reading, you take them out. How often are you going to be pinching your contact lenses uh, in and out of your eyes if you just want um, for reading? It doesn't make, um, doesn't make sense. So I think uh, in that case, it's always better to have, uh, even if it's just cheap reading glasses, you put them on. If, so long as your distant vision is um, very good. If it's just reading that you want, put on your reading glasses. When, you don't, when you're not reading, you take them off. 
So it gives you that flexibility. Contact lenses, you don't have that option. If you put the contact lenses on to read, you won't be able to see the distance unless you go to bifocal uh, contact lenses, in which case most times the vision will also not be as um, good as with um, the glasses. So these are all the uh, options that uh, one has to look at. In terms of cost, uh, it might be cheaper to buy contact lenses maybe for six months. But if you weigh it out, uh, your glasses usually will last about two years or, or more. So if you weigh out the cost of buying contact lenses uh, over that time frame compared to glasses, you're almost going to run into the same, um, into the same uh, cost. So it doesn't really, in that regard, doesn't really make much um, difference. But um, for, for cases like keratoconus, it is definitely your, your contact lenses to give you better vision. Then in some cases, you find patients with very high astigmatism. In this case, I usually prefer glasses because even the toric contact lenses uh, wouldn't give you good vision as much as you have with uh, your glasses. Glasses, uh, will, you can actually have the full prescription as it as is. But in contact lenses, the toric contact lenses is an approximation because the, uh, the axis on its own goes in 10, uh, 10 degrees uh, increment. So in glasses, you can have maybe uh, an axis of uh, 67 degrees. In contact lenses, since you don't have 67, you either go to 70 or you can stay at 60. So that little uh, change in axis can actually uh, make the vision a little um, blurry. And um, the higher your astigmatism, the more precise the axis has to be. In glasses, you have the frame holding the lens. So even if the, uh, in, in glasses, the frame holds the lens. So there is no way that the lens can uh, rotate in the frame. And that's why the, if you have a higher astigmatism, we usually recommend uh, frames that are not circular. Because any tilt in the lens, the, the, your vision will go blurry. So in glasses, the frame will hold the lens in place. Then the, uh, the lens does not rotate. So the axis uh, uh, of that lens won't uh, change. In contact lenses, on the other hand, although contact lenses have, um, uh, in toric contact lenses have um, the ballast that um, uses uh, gravity to keep the lens in place from rotating, even at that, the lens will still, from time to time, shift. And that's why you find sometimes you find the vision is a little bit blurry sometimes. And after blinking for a while, it clears up uh, again. But um, it will never be as clear as it is with um, glasses. So that's another uh, disadvantage of contact lenses compared to glasses. Uh, but again, cosmetically, especially with women, you can hardly ever or talk them out of contact lenses. When they need to go out, even if they don't see, most of them still want to put on their contact lenses and um, go out without um, glasses. Most times I find that the men really don't bother much. So this is common with women and common with uh, the younger girls. So again, also, if you have um, very dry eyes, contact lenses is not your best option. Glasses will, will be. So in choosing between glasses and contact lenses, it's always better to let the, uh, the professional guide you through, which is your, your eye doctor or your dispensing optician, guide you through these options. And um, you let them tell you all the uh, pros and cons. Then uh, probably make the decision final because the, you are the one paying for it. Most times you are still the one going to make the final decision anyway. So these are the areas that I think uh, we should all uh, look at. It's not uh, fair enough to say, okay, you know what, I, I don't want glasses, I just want um, contact lenses. You may not be the right candidate for it. So then contact lenses again, at every night you have to take them off before you sleep, except you wear the extended, one, extended wear contact lenses. And that again has its own um, options. It, uh, you have a higher likelihood of uh, getting inf uh, infected. So that's another option. But I always suggest, even if you're going to get contact lenses, you must have a backup pair of glasses. And that's because um, the eye perspires, like uh, the body. It needs to... Uh, Take in oxygen and give out uh, carbon dioxide. If you have the contact lenses on the on the on your eye all the time, and even when you're sleeping, what happens is um, over time the contact the carbon dioxide begins to build up because it doesn't have uh, any escape um, routes. So, 
carbon dioxide builds up over time with water it forms carbonic acid and that's toxic to the eye so it's always better to have a backup pair of um, uh, glasses even if you must go with contact lenses so when you get home from school or from work you take off the uh, uh, contact lenses put on your glasses and um, have it uh, have the eye at least rest from anything uh, uh, leaning on it or resting on it such as the contact lenses till the time that you're ready to sleep when you're ready to sleep take off your glasses and go to sleep in the morning but the same thing again you can put on your contact lenses so again uh, for the kids you have to remember if they have very high prescription chances of them going into this uh, contact lens over wear problems is very high if they don't have a back of pair of glasses because if they take off their contact lenses, they won't be able to see the brain always wants a very clear image so you find that child will con constantly almost always have the uh, that child will almost always have his or her contact lenses in the eyes till when they're going to sleep and uh, sometimes they forget when to take them out when uh, when they're falling asleep so we don't want contact lens over wear problems uh, so another area that we also look at in terms of uh, contact lenses versus um, glasses uh, if, uh, if it's for sports is the nature of the sports uh, something like swimming contact lenses do, you can't go with your contact lenses to the swimming pool it's an absolute no no because um, the chlorine in the water uh, is a big problem. Uh, other than that, contact lenses, uh, people clean with uh, like speed, can cause um, bad conditions like a, a cantamoeba infection, which we don't want. So, in cases of uh, in cases cases of that has to do with swimming, I always tell patients no contact lenses if you must get uh, if you know you need prescription and you need to go into the swimming pool get a pair of um, sport goggles you can swim with it and uh, it saves you all the trauma that goes with uh, contact lenses and um, swimming pool i have seen patients go into the swimming pool with their contact lens apart from the fact that you stand the risk of losing your contact lenses because it floats easily the chlorine in the water and your contact lenses do not go hand in hand yeah so for contact lenses we also have to look at um, another factor how old is this um, patient if it's for a child usually i would not give a child as less than 13 years old contact lenses and that's because um, i expect a certain level of maturity from the, the patient to be able to know when to take out the contact lenses and when to leave the contact lenses um, in. I expect a le certain level of um, hygiene from, that, from the patient. So at 10, 11, most sense these kids are not even um, conscious of um, the amount of hygiene that uh, is involved in handling contact lenses. They go to the washroom, they forget to wash their hand, they need to put the contact lenses in, they put in, put, put, take the contact lenses out, they refuse to, they forget to wash their hands, and uh, they just go ahead and uh, oh, know what, it's not going to be a big deal until it becomes a problem. So that's why, for me, I always want to have that, at least as a teenager, uh, they will understand a lot more about the ramifications of uh, the side effects of contact lens um, wear before I allow them uh, wear the contact lenses. Then they also have to be able to put the lenses in and take out the contact lenses on their own. So they have to learn to do the insertion and removal in case uh, they are in a, in a tight situation and the contact lens needs to be taken out right away. Sometimes the parents will insist that, no, I'll take it out and uh, put the lenses in. You might put the contact lenses in when the child is going to school and, and uh, help the child take, take the lenses out when the, the child gets home. But suppose at school, the child has an emergency and needs to take out the contact lens and he or she cannot do it, then what happens? And that's why I insist that the child, the patient has to, to uh, insert and remove the len contact lenses in front of me before I allow them, uh, before I can uh, prescribe contact lenses for them to uh, take home. Then uh, contact lens also requires a lot of um, dexterity. If you have um, tremor, in your fingers 
uh, trying to put contralysis in your eye is a big problem because if the hand shakes, how are you going to put the contralysis? How are you going to take it out? So these are all um, factors that uh, you don't have to deal with when you put on, uh, when you wear glasses. So these are areas that I think we should also look at too. So it's not just um, the cosmetic part of, okay, I don't want to wear glasses, I just want to wear contact lenses. Uh, so let's um, remember that um, everything that has an advantage has a disadvantage too. Um, if there are other topics that you think you want me to talk about, please feel free, leave them in the comment section. I uh, will address them. Thank you so much. Continue to share our videos as usual. We appreciate you guys.